All right, I'm Chad and I'm with Chemical Technologies. And what we're going to show you today is just a small clip on how to replace the ozone plate that's inside of the Ozone X5000. <clears throat> all right, the first thing that we're going to do is remove all four of the screws that are on the outside of the box that will let, let us take the housing off the top. You can use just a regular Phillips head screwdriver or a small electric drill with a Phillips tip, which is what I prefer to do. It's a lot faster. You're going to remove the case. As you can see, we have the transformer and the ozone plate that's here. On the actual production model that we'll be sitting out in the field, we'll have a small bead of glue that's here. So the first thing you want to do is either take a flathead screwdriver or even a razor knife. Just be careful not to cut your finger and remove that glue. Once you remove the glue, they'll pull apart. Pretty easy. I mean, it's, it's a firm pull, but that's what you need to do to have a good connection. So we would remove that from here, as well pull it off the machine, and place this in the machine, just like so. I would plug it in to make sure that the contact was correct, but I usually won't do that unless I have the cover back on, because there's a pretty big hazard of getting electrocuted by this plate. So you're going to want to put a small bead of glue back on. Reinstall the cover. Done. Once you get the cover back installed, I'd advise you to plug in an extension cord and plug it into the wall and look inside the machine to see if you can see the purple glow of the ozone plate to make sure it's operating correctly and that's just about all you need to do.